Hi guys, welcome back to The Sakers and today I'm going to be making cupcakes mainly because I'm not allowed on my electronics for the rest of the day but it's fun to make cupcakes this is for my guide badge and if any of Anna's children are watching from my one of my guys leaders then I'll give a big shout out and this one's for you so yeah, it's a really simple recipe, all you need is butter, caster sugar, eggs, any extract or flavouring of your choice, we have chosen vanilla, and some flour, self raising flour. I have got my sheet here just to help me through this. So let's get baking. First, well first you need to preheat the oven to 150. No. No, 180, sorry. Okay, and now we need to mix the cream, the cream, cream the butter and sugar together in a bowl until pale. Um, and yeah, so we need to get our sugar. And you're going to do that with a wooden spoon, are you? Uh, yeah, because if we use a mixer, then it, the butter gets stuck and stuff like that. I can just put that on the side. So I've got my wooden spoon and now we need to mix it in until it is this pale colour. I think that might take a while. Yeah, so we might stop this video and like quickly finish this up. So I have just creamed my butter and my sugar together. This is what it should, I think, look like. Um, I had to have a bit of help from my mum because it's really hard when you get, like when you start with it and stuff. But now we need to add in our beaten egg. So we've already like mixed up and stuff. And we need to add it a little bit at a time to our butter and sugar. So we're just gonna add a little bit. It's a bit much, but <laughs> it's plugged in at the side. mixing in my butter, sugar and eggs and we need to put this down here and put it this way so it doesn't drip everywhere. So we need to add a teaspoon of vanilla, lemon or whatever extract or flavouring you're using. We're using vanilla so we just need to quickly add that to the mixture. That was a close one. really nice and yummy now because you don't just want a plain cake plain cake some people like but I don't like a plain cake so now we need to fold the f so now we need to fold the flour in using a spoon are you going to just mix the flavouring in oh that's a good idea it looks like honey and porridge <laughs> just sorted out and we just tidied up a bit and then we need to gently because you don't want the flour to go everywhere add in your flour into your mixture that's pretty much all of it just put that over there with the rest and then you need to fold it in this is going to take a while so we might we're going to have to stop this and then come back to you in a minute So we think, so I think we have finished folding it in, so we can just put that there, in the bowl, I can just leave that in there. And now we have our tray ready with all of our sheets in, that one has two. Okay, now the other ones have two, and now we need to just get two seed spoons and like take it out in pieces and put them in. So, just like this, you scrape it off the other one and it should plop in there. 
So we'll come back to you once we've done them all once and then we'll come back and talk about it and go back again. So we have just put in them all in the little trays and now we need to put them in the oven for around 10 to 15 minutes. This is an adult job, so I'm gonna ask my mum to quickly just do this. And when we're in the when we put them in the oven, we'll come back and we'll see what's next. So the cakes have come out and we're just gonna leave them out to cool because we want to make some icing, don't we? So let's make some buttercream. So <laughs> for the buttercream, all you need is some butter. We have melted it a bit so it'll be easy to mix. And you need some icing sugar. So with the icing sugar, you need, since it'll be really poofy, you need to mix it gently. You just need to get a tablespoon, maybe another one. See how poofy it is. And then you need to just mix it. And then you'll like keep mixing it and stuff until it gets to this like thick consistency, like an icing consistency. And it will get in your whisk if you're using a whisk and stuff like that. And I think you need a bit more. And if your parents know how to cook and stuff, they could help you and stuff. So this is around, like it's still a bit sticky, but we need it to be a bit sticky to add this in, like the whatever food colouring you're doing, because it will make it wetter and like, so then you'll need some extra um, icing powder or whatever it's called. And you only need a couple of drops because you don't want it to be like too powerful of blue and stuff. And this time, because whenever I've used food dye or anything like that, I've always got it on my hands, so I'll try not to get it on my hands this time. So you just need a couple of drops. Then you need to mix it in. So we have just done my icing. We've put it in an icing bag. And if you have room in the bottom of your bowl, you can do some practices like I've done. But um, we've done blue icing and you might need help putting it in the bag and like make so uh, we So I have just finished making my icing and I've done a couple practices in the bottom of the bowl. We made some blue buttercream. Um, and now like <laughs> we can just put them on. We're going to quickly do one because we have two trays. I'm just going to quickly do one to show you how I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to do that for the rest of them because I think it looks really cute. So I'm just going to quickly do the rest of them with my mum because my mum's really good at doing this stuff. And then we'll be back to end this video. And yeah, so see you when we're done. So that's basically it. Me and, well, I had to have help with my mum to put some more icing and, and stuff and to put some on and yeah, that sort of stuff. Mums are great for helping us like that. And I think they look really good. Um, I can't wait to taste these. So the actual recipe, like how much grams or of butter or something like that, we're actually gonna put on the vlog that I'm gonna edit. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So and why did you choose blue? Because it's my favorite color and for the nurses. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.